going to say? Christmas Eve is coming soon. How are you, dear old man? Whisper what you bring. Make y'all. So we started off with skin with Fran. Look how her skin is just glowing. She doesn't even need anything on. All we did was olive oil and a little bit of hydrogen. You didn't pay me on your snap. You won't put your stuff on there. It's, I'm already on there. Went to a concert or something like that. You don't want your brow to be sweating out. Plus, going over powder with pencil just makes it look more natural. To you a see concert how or something like that. You don't want your brow to be sweating out. Plus, going over powder with pencil just makes it look more natural. You see how? Just all right. So all I did for her. You just get me. I'm not gonna put it in front of thing. It's just a little bit of concealer on the areas where she had discoloration because your face is like immaculate. It's so pretty and gorgeous and beautiful that you don't even need a whole bunch on it. All we needed was concealer on the areas that was a different color than the face and the concealer matches your, look up for me, it matches your skin tone perfectly. And now I'm just taking a beauty blender and blending it out. So this is a way for new artists. You don't have to have a lot in your kit, especially if you focus on skin first. All you need is a concealer that matches, especially Studio Fix, because it's already so heavy coverage. You can just blend no, it you out. Really already do got a glow. We yeah. Are glow like and it shouldn't feel heavy in your face, does it? Mm -hmm. No. Nope. I know. You ain't got to tell me. I know. So if you ever just wanted to do your own makeup, all you need to go do is get some Studio Finish Concealer. I think this is NC50, I'm not really sure. Um, a beauty blender, put your olive oil and your hydration on. And when I tell you your skin is so flawless right now, let me show you. And it took me two seconds. Oh wow. Yeah, and it don't even feel, it shouldn't even feel like a lot. That's it. We'll do some concealer under the eye, a little powder, and then I'm going to highlight your eyes and we'll play that up. And the skin is here, though. No, it really is glowing. The skin looks great. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to use the actual the foundation that I used on you as your foundation. This is actually like her highlight shade. Look up for me. So if you're just starting out, you really don't need a whole bunch of different products. You just have to know how to use what you have. That's it. And again, her face is rounder, so I'm keeping all of her highlight right around here. That's it. I might put just a little around the chin and underneath, but all of her highlight is staying rounded. It should look like a little oval and just do a little in the center you have a really pretty skin friend and don't you let anybody tell you you don't because I sure nice. don't think mine's Oh, girl, you just don't even know what your skin look like. It just look like butter right now. It's just, <laughs> dang, just chocolate goodness. <laughs> dang. <laughs> Daniqua, give me space. Hashtag go live with April. It looks so cute. Look at it on camera. Oh, on camera, it does yeah. look good. You don't need a lot on there. So if anybody is doing your makeup, tell them don't put too much on my face because I don't really need it. And I don't think you want it either. <laughs> Look up for me. Do you have kids? Yeah, you can cut them kids. off. Huh? You can, that, we're finished. So oh, bit. Yep, that's cute. That's super I'll cute. finish. Look at her look. So cute. So pretty. Turn this way for me. There you go. 
gorgeous dog. Look down. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Oh Let's God, finish your lips. All right, are your lips moisturized? Mm -mm. Oh, what kind of nice? Well, they are just a little bit. I just found the chapstick. They was when we first started. Then they started getting crunchy. Then they like started doing stuff. <laughs> yeah, getting crunchy. Excuse me. All right, I'm gonna put some olive oil on it. Just a little bit. She's my sister, so I can scoop this out my hand. Normally, I would put it on a, a towel. Moisturize. Mm -hmm. Rub it on. She has to put on her own lipstick because she is not special. You getting it, friend? Oh, okay. Yep, you got to move. You got to have angles. Go. A little bit more at the top. Cute. Yep. All right. Here you go, friends. So we done took that. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm about to take this lip brush. Friend, is it in there? Mm -hmm. So we got the lip brush. Just put a little bit of the olive oil that was on my hands. Oh. Oh, is that glitter? That's glitter. <laughs> That's a gold glitter. Zoom in there, Frank. Get in there. Don't be shy. So I'm just picking this up on the brush, as you see. And now. Here, hold this under your chin. Well, like right here so it don't fall out. Cause I don't have anything sticky on the brush. It's just going to go on here and it's just going to give you a holiday sparkle. It's going to look more metallic-y than like a full glitter lip. Will you hold it? But that's like how close I want you to be in there. make you this shit it's really cute I like it and the olive oil is just gonna make it smooth it's gonna make it like really metallic -y. so this is a way for you to get the metallic lip with just using glitter lipstick and a little bit of moisturizer it's like better than the metallic lip because it's gonna have so much sparkle and shine and just. All right, y'all, this is the finished look. It's a metallic lip without it actually being metallic. Hold up, yeah, perfect. Zoom in on the lips. It's yummy. All right, I'm all cleaned up. I love my method because it makes for easy cleaning. Just swoop everything up in the paper towel. All of the dirty brushes are in here. All of my clean brushes are still in here. Highlighters, tools, foundation, everything else is in there. I got a little stray NARS concealer that I didn't even end up using, but let me tuck him back in here. And now I'm cleaned up and organized. Like you wanna make sure your kit stays clean. You wanna make sure it's organized. You know, everything is where it is. These are clean brushes, dirty, and I'll probably wash these today or tomorrow. And all my trash is conveniently in a trash bag. If you are a, you know, wanting to be a makeup artist, a new makeup artist, or you're just wanting to improve your process, these are three things I always take with me on a job. Napkins, a trash bag, 
and a towel. So that way you can clean up your own mess. You got, you know, spread out so you're not messing up people's tables. You don't have to ask them for a trash bag or keep running to the trash. Just put all your stuff in there and drop it in the trash either on your way out or in their house. But it's the most quickest way to clean up and leave someone's home nice or even your own space. And this is the key. Most of the time I do 99%, but anything above 90 is still fine. Alcohol, it cleans everything. Makeup brushes, your product, your hands, them, spaces. Get your life.